had my mic off. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we can do with this next uh, story progression quest. Turn the audio on to professional streamer, everybody. Hey, Subarashi! Uh, all right, countermeasures. First, let's figure out what to do about the shark. Do we know any servants who would be able to easily handle a shark? <laughs> I'm just reminded of that Ask a Ninja bit, you know. Have you ever jumped the shark? Why would I ever avoid a shark? I have jumped into a shark, though. Poked out the arms and legs and wore it to a costume party. I came in second place to Woody Allen, who was dressed as Woody Allen when he was funny. Hmm. I don't particularly care for sharks. They're so inelegant, so utterly lacking in beauty. I have no use for such things. I suppose I can at least empathize with their appetite for blood. And you, Lambda? Didn't you mention something about all sea life being your slaves? That thing is no creature of the sea. It has moved beyond the ocean. Ugh, just saying that made my head hurt. I'm going to take a dip in the pool. Let me know when you've decided on your plan of attack. Hmm. What about other servants with ties to the sea? Maybe a pirate? True. We do know a number of pirate servants. Let's try asking around. A shark? Can't say I've got strong feelings about the things one way or the other. Not much experience with them either. A shark, huh? A seaman can't help but run into them now and then. I'd just as soon not face one again. Though, of course, if you want me to, I would fight it with everything I've got. I love shark fin soup. Hmm. We're just talking about a plain old shark, right? I don't think you have to be a pirate to beat it. Honestly, I just can't be bothered. Ugh, so much for that. Yeah. I guess it all boils down to the fact that when it comes to fighting a shark, you need courage more than skill. I'd agree with that. Those eyes were really scary. Let me see. Then we should look for someone who won't be afraid of those dark, soulless eyes. Someone reckless, or maybe even a little crazy. So, a berserker then? That should totally work. I agree. However, we still need to come up with a big sister countermeasure. Hmm. Uh, it's no use. I'm just not smart enough to come up with anything. Times like this. Yes, at times like this, I think there's only one person to ask. <laughs> settle down, settle down. You can always count on Mr. Mystery to help you out of a jam. Foo, foodie, foo. Why don't you take a long foul off a short pier? Oh. <laughs> My head isn't a piece of gum to be chewed, strange and mysterious animal. Though I am impressed you figured out how to get past my flower petal shooter. You've really upped your game. I guess I've shown my cards one too many times since we came to Vegas. There really is something magical about summer, isn't there? Please calm down, foe. I wonder why you always get so aggressive whenever Mr. Mystery shows up. Yes. I wonder. At any rate, you're having trouble coming up with a big sister countermeasure? Yeah, we need to find a way to beat J J John. He's struggling to get John's name out. 
He's really doing his best to fight the brainwashing. Usually there'd be no harm in her claiming to be your big sister, but it does make for a challenge, no pun intended, when going up against her as a swimsuit swordmaster. But if you stop and think about it, I think you'll find the solution soon presents itself. After all, even if you did have a big sister, you would also surely have a mother. A mother? Then if we bring in a servant who's convinced she's Master's mother... Oh boy. I think I know where this is going. What fresh hell is this? Alright, let's make sure we have everything straight. We'll need a berserker to handle the shark, and we'll need someone motherly or big sisterish in her own right to handle Jean. Is there anyone who would be right for that? There is. Yep, there sure is. There is? Yes. There's someone we know who would be perfect for this job. It's almost like she was born for it. But when she's a Lancer, she's... Right. I'm sure Raiko's maternal sensibilities faded a bit from changing her spirit origin from a berserker to a lancer. Maternal sensibilities? Oh. Oh, Hokusai, you sweet summer child, you. So to speak. Hmm? Where'd Gordy go? He went down to the cafeteria to make French toast once they started talking about all this motherly stuff. Apparently, he decided it was time to treat himself. No fair! I don't want to face this reality either. Master, maybe we should try talking to Lord Kintoki about this? He might know a way to make her more <clears throat> maternal. Good idea. Let's go see Kintoki. Yes, Master. Then I guess I'll be on my way, too. Just suddenly rose petals everywhere. And I'm half expecting it to be like that one scene from, what was it, Ranma? Where you just have rose petals everywhere and then someone has to clean up afterward. Hmm. So this is Las Vegas. Not bad. I like this dry air. You don't get this kind of heat back in Japan. <laughs> and I dig the way this haze makes everything look all shiny. Ah, oh, yeah. This is how I always imagined America was like. Well, since I became a heroic spirit anyway. <laughs> and my belt buckle agrees. Eh, but enough about that. The bigger question here is... How much longer do I gotta hold off on getting the thick, juicy American steak I've been drooling over just so I can stand around here doing diddly squat? Don't ask me. I didn't demand that all these people crowd around to take pictures of me. I guess it's just the price I have to pay for being a fox of such impeccable beauty. And besides, you were the one who offered to keep me safe on this trip since we're both Japanese heroic spirits, right? And since I decided to take you up on your kind offer, I'd really appreciate it if you kept working as my bodyguard until I'm good and ready to leave. Over here, Miss Tomomo. Give us a smile. Aww. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Just don't forget the QP. Smiles this good aren't free, you know. Would you mind collecting his fee, Kintoki? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Man, I can't believe how... I can't believe I forgot how shrewd you can... Hmm? Hey, that's Master over there. Yo, Master! Gold boy! <laughs> nice to see you so excited, Master. I guess Vegas' dry air agrees with you, too. Master! Oh, it feels like it's been ages since I saw you during summer. You little scamp, you. And now she's at least 30% more excited than she already was. Hang on. What's that? Uh-oh. Ah! My camera! Oopsies. It looks like my charms are so potent they've caused a nearby demonic beast wildlife to start running amok. Damn it! If only that Nero gal were here. 
They would have cancelled each other out. Um, Kitoki, I think that would probably only make things worse before it made them better. Oh yeah, maybe you're right. Anyway, let's catch up after we make these things settle down. Hmm? Hang on. If I'm not mistaken, this is a prime opportunity to say that line. Really? Hey, you. Give us a moment here, alright? <laughs> and they're just giving him the moment. Okay, then. On three. One, two... Yes, it's finally happening! We've got wyverns! Oh, yeah! What's that all about? Beats me, but it's definitely got them fired up. <laughs> Alright. Berserker class, so I'm gonna want foreigners. Ah, perfect! And let's go over here. Uh, this should be good. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, OG Hokusai myself, so I can't just wipe them out with an AOE. So that's gonna suck. It's a chicken. Okay. Let's see. Uh... You know something funny I just realized? They should have a Thanksgiving event, but, like, all the enemies are, like, modified sprites of the chickens. So that they're turkeys. I think that would be pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's get some police instincts. Gain NP. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Now, lower his defense. And then, we just go ham. Fry that chicken. So, how you doing, Tsuburashi? I think he's dead. Not quite, but close. Mmm, Vegas chicken. All 
right? I need to double check to see how much more bond I need to get my Carmilla to max. Because, I mean, I've just been so close to getting her maxed out for so long. I want that bond tensi. All right. Lancers this time. So I got to pick a bunch of sabers. Hey, Subarashi, there you are. Guess what? Boom. I'm still jealous that you got Saber Fran. Uh, there we go. All right. Now that the white bird's out of our hair, what do you want to talk to me about? There's some wild, wild west trouble happening in these parts you need my help with? Uh, well, you see... Uh, that's just nuts. This is some real dangerous fire you're playing with here, Master. Raiko's already got the power of a prefect. If you add maternal instincts on top of that, she'll go right back to being a berserker. And if that happens, she could easily end up forbidding her precious child from fighting a shark. And assign you a whole mountain of summer homework. Oh, come now. Even she must know that Master's not in elementary school anymore. Either way, if Minamoto no Raiko refuses to go along, that's going to be a problem in more ways than one. I don't think there's any other servant out there who could possibly defeat both a shark and a big sister. Basically, we want her to face John as a lancer while maintaining her maternal instincts. Uh, well, damn, Master. I don't know what to tell you. I wish I could help, but I don't know of anyone who could manipulate Boss Raiko that precisely. Oh, I can think of someone. This is Raiko we're talking about, yes? Then look no further than little old me. I once twisted entire countries around my little finger. A lone firecracker is nothing compared to that. A little no holds barred the service time from beast mode Tamamo, and she'll be putty in my hands. I'm a little worried how excited she is about all this, but what do you think, Master? Want to give her a shot? Go for it, Tamamochi. You got it. Just sit back, relax, and leave everything to me. <laughs> Tamamochi. I see. So you want to defeat a servant calling herself a swimsuit swordmaster. That's the long and short of it, Boss Raiko. I would love to do just that. But the very existence of people calling themselves swimsuit swordmasters is already unacceptable. You stay right here. I'll take care of everything myself. As the Shadow Prefect, it is my job to protect public decency wherever I go. Whoa, whoa, not so fast, boss. There won't be any point if you do it all alone. Master's got to be there to face her, too. Hmm, I understand how he feels, but... Oh, what's the harm? I agree with Raiko, Master. You should let her take care of everything herself. What? You're Tamamo no Mai, the most notorious veteran of all the unacceptable summer servants. I sure am. So, as you were saying, Raiko, you're volunteering to handle everything by yourself, right? Then this will be a perfect time to enjoy a long, luxurious vacation with just Master and me. Come on, Master, let's go to the pool first. After we go for a swim, we can rub tanning oil on each other, give each other massages, maybe even do a little skinny dipping. Hold it right there. You won't be doing any of that on my watch. That's absolutely unacceptable. Aw, why not? It's not like Master will have anything else to do with you taking care of everything, right? I... That's... But... Well... The thing is... <laughs> Are you sure this is a good idea? I know, Master. I feel bad for her, too. But we've just got to grin and bear it. Well, come along, Master. You and I are going to have lots of fun together during this hot, steamy summer. 
I'm impressed, Fox Lady. You've honed your honey trap skills to an art, but I can tell it's all just an act. It's written all over your face. So that's how she brought those nations to their knees. Though she did always claim she had nothing to do with any of that. No. Hmm? Oh? Did Ryko fall for it? You will not be doing anything so... so indecent. Not on the head, Prefects. Watch. I shall send any evil temptress who would lead my dear child astray down to the pits of hell myself. All right, it worked. Well, that's it for me. Good luck with the rest, everyone. So you knew this was going to happen? No wonder you had me come along. Eh, whatever, I guess. All right, let's do it. Having a match with the greatest Genji general of all time ought to be a great warm-up for a swimsuit sword master duel. Man, I had no idea being a servant would open the door to so many amazing experiences. Oh man, Minamoto no Raiko is a legend among legends. Under different circumstances, I'd be rattling my sword, uh, champing at the bit for a duel. But I guess that'll just have to wait. In the meantime, I'll use the back of my blades to knock her back to her senses. Uh, alrighty. All right, let's see. Uh, hmm. All right, let's, uh, let's do some of that. I always thought that was cool when Totosama does that. Oh boy, she's buffed her crits. Alright, here we go. Uh. Let's buff Buster. It's going to inflict burn, but raising Fran's attack. Uh... And let's go for a buster chain. Opening up with saber frame. Ah, I thought I would get the crit on that one. Oh. Man. I forgot how dangerous Lancer Raikou could be. There we go. Okay. Uh, Dragon Crested Octopus. Is that even a an actual animal? A Dragon Crested Octopus? You know what? Now I'm curious. Let me look that up. Yeah, no, there's no such thing as a dragon crested octopus, apparently. Because all the results I'm getting are either octopus, bearded dragons, or actual dragons. All right, so, uh, critical strength increases during critical attacks. 
Ooh. Actually. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and... Give Hokusai some arts buffs. I still find it kind of weird that she's a lancer and her main weapon is a sword and a yo-yo. Like, I get if she's a lancer because of her uh, noble phantasm, but still, it's kind of weird. Ah, I can do this. Lamenting the summer heat. Mother level up. Uh oh. Oh, oh, that is actually kind of mean. Yeah, that is actually kind of mean. <laughs> A mama fight. <laughs> Chan Invincible. Give Hokusai Guts. And hopefully Fran doesn't get hit. Good crit for Hokusai. <sighs> Alright. From what I remember, this is a single target. So, good chance that we'll survive. Oh, and of course she goes for Saber Fran. I think she just barely survived? Barely, yes. Uh, of course, she goes after the one vulnerable party member. And there goes Saber Fran. Uh, she did really well, though. Sadgi. Yeah, Sadgi. My boy Siegfried. Avenge Saber Fran. Ooh, actually. Potential for Hokusai to avenge Saber Fran.
All right. Uh. Time for revenge. There we go. Knocked some sense into her. Uh. <gasps> oh my, this is so embarrassing. I guess I got a little carried away. It's okay. We're partly to blame. Oh no, not at all. Then, does that mean... Yes, although this time I will help you, not as the Shadow Prefect, but as your mother. I will make sure to give this battle against the Swimsuit Swordmaster my all. All while maintaining my sanity. Oh man, this is amazing. I can't believe I'm going to get to fight alongside the famous general of the Seiwa Genji that defeated the giant spider of Kyoto. Hmm? Excuse me, but would you happen to be a saber? Sure am. I'm still just starting now, but I've been real lucky with my opponents. They've helped me all the way to become a full-fledged sword fighter. I see. That's wonderful to hear. However, I noticed during our fight that your form could still use some work. If you like, I can give you some pointers on the way back to the hotel. Whoa, really? You do that for me? Yes, of course. I'd be more than happy to teach you about the proper execution of certain oni and furry monsters. Whoops, don't like the sound of that one bit, so I think I'll be going my own way from here. Oh, and Master, if you ever feel like taking a load off, come see me in my room whenever you like. <laughs> okay, ta-ta for now. The senpai... What did Tamamo say to you just now? Ah, why did you turn away from me, Senpai? Senpai! Oh yes, I nearly forgot. A proper match should be held in accordance with proper customs. That's an important part of good moral character, too. Is there any custom like that for swimsuit sword masters? Hmm, a letter of challenge, huh? I see, I see. Then we'll have to be sure to obtain one of these letters first. Yes, even your opponent is seemingly no longer cares about them. For that is how one properly participates in an official match. Are we clear? I mean, that's what we're looking for, so... I think now it's available in the shop. There it is, Shark's Letter of Challenge. Okay. So now I just need to maintain having a hundred chips for when the Lion's Letter of Challenge comes. Art's Mother versus Power Sister. Hmm. Formation restricted. Okay. So, Archer, Berserker, Lancer. Well, we have a good Lancer here. Set Hokusai as a starting member. Okay. Uh, actually, let's set up an attack party. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, it's set to level. I want it set to class. 
There we go. Okay. Now, given who we're up against, I think I'm going to trade Ellie Chan. for Carmilla. I have a feeling she's going to be exceptionally useful. Let's see. And switching out Cersei for... Let's see. <laughs> you know what? Summer Kiyohime. And everybody's got uh, maxed out imaginary elements, so that should be good. Let's go. Oh my, oh my, if it isn't Master. You're just in time for our next performance, Truffatore. It's about a man who claimed to have cut off the Italian peninsula from the rest of Europe and brought it across the Mediterranean to attach it to... Cre oh, what's that you've got there? Is that a letter of challenge, I see? I'm here to challenge my big sis, I mean, John. Trying our luck again, are we? I see, I see. So you are here to challenge the owner of our fair casino to a rematch. Are you going to try and stop us, Mephistopheles? Me? Perish the lot of you. I mean, thought. <laughs> that said, I can't help but think it would be a terrible waste to not give such a spectacle the venue it deserves. Hmm... Hmm, hmm, hmm. How about this, Master? What if you and your co star slash cohorts were to have your battle here on our casino center stage? And not as an impromptu improv routine, but as the stars of the show. The stars? Really? A flashy battle between larger than life servants would go over wonderfully with the crowd. What about the story, you say? Oh, I'm sure we can work something out. For example, you could be a group of swindlers trying to put one over on this dog. Who would be having none of it? Come on, what do you say? Please, pretty please. Well, um, I guess that's okay. This will be great, Senpai. Always knew you were born to be a star. Yeah, if the Salem singularity was anything to go by. Hmm. I guess this would be better than trying to challenge a casino on our own terms. If you want to go along with this, Master, I have no problem with it. I feel the same as Lord Siegfried. Hmm. I think I'll pass on the play. I do enjoy a good show, but I've never done a musical before. Oh, but don't worry. I'll still be here to help with the fighting. I'll be setting this one out entirely, thank you. I have no interest in putting on a show for the masses. Some flowers are only meant to bloom in the dead of night, no matter how much attention their beauty may draw. This from the Phantom Thief. <laughs> Needless to say, it's no different for Phantom Thieves. I'll have to pass too, since my figure is nothing to write home about. You sure? I think you look great. Yes, I'm sure. Gomenasari, Machan, but this is one thing I just can't do even for you. I'm in. I'll be the camera welcome and making sure to capture the action from every conceivable angle. Watch them all be butt shots of me! Da Vinci should have some extra cameras lying around, so I'm going to see if I can borrow three of them. 
I have to say, Mesh scares me sometimes. Right there with you, Lord Siegfried. Wonderful. Here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> what kind of jumping sound effect was that? Mephistopheles is no ordinary person, so I expect his jumps are no ordinary jumps either. That sounds logical, but something is telling me it won't hold up to under even the slightest bit of scrutiny. So, we're going to have this rematch on stage. Well, I certainly can't sit this one out, then. Regardless of its size or shape, a stage is still a stage, after all. Oh, hi, Lambda. Welcome back. Yes, thank you, Mash. Don't worry, I've got it all handled this time. There's just no way her big sister power can stand up to my prima ballerina power. This time she learned why they call me the prima donna of the water. Wait. Does this mean I have to go up on stage two? Uh-oh. I don't think Raiko likes the idea. You want me to go on the stage? Sure, that sounds like lots of fun. Huh? I'd be fighting my little brother there? No go? Spasiba! Wait. When did she learn Russian? Hmm? Whoops, I mean, Horasho! Yes, this is very Horasho, Mephistopheles. I can see it now, two siblings who love each other, coming to an understanding by trading blows. It's like they say, adversity brings people together. So let's give them some adversity they'll never forget. Yes, of course. I should have known a swimsuit swordmaster would be on board with this. After all, you clearly aren't the slightest bit worried that you might lose. Well, of course I'm not. After all, I'm... His big sister. Yes, exactly. Still, if I may offer a word of advice. A true big sister is not a big sister merely by virtue of her birth. Indeed, the same can be said for siblings as a whole. No big sister is born out of thin air. Do you see what I mean? Yes, of course that's all true, but I don't get your point. What are you trying to say, Mephistopheles? That, my dear owner, is a secret. <laughs> Suffice to say, that will all be clear upon the stage. Ah, if only Shakespeare were here right now. I can just imagine him pouting with envy and saying, I want to perform too. I wonder why he's adamantly refused to come near this casino thus far. Well, I certainly haven't banned him or anything. I have been praying to myself that he never shows up here, but that doesn't count, right? At any rate, the match is just about to start, so go on, get to the stage. Ooh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see everything fall to pieces. <laughs> what in the world was that jumping sound? <laughs> <laughs> it's -a me, Mephistopheles. <laughs> Tonight, we bring you a tall tale spun by a great con artist. The story of the man who claimed to have cut off the Italian peninsula and attached it to Greece. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh ho! I see. I am very sorry about this. No matter. Even in Greece, Rome will continue to be Rome. Just as I myself am Rome, so too is the Severed Peninsula. So the Italian peninsula is coming here to Greece, huh? Sure, whatever. Oh, what about taxes? Does this mean the Romans are going to have to start paying us now? Hey guys, did you hear the news? They say they're going to chop off the whole Italian peninsula and stick it onto Greece. Oh my, this is amazing. 
Once we're Greeks, we might be able to climb Mount Olympus ourselves. This calls for a celebration. Here's to the people chopping off the peninsula. We did it. We got permission from the king and everything. All we got to do now is cut the dang peninsula off. I can't wait to get started. Hey, make way for the con artist and his crew. I don't think so, little brother. If you cut off this peninsula, the boot of Italy will go floating across the Mediterranean Sea. And the last thing this world needs is an island shaped like a boot. I have a feeling there's a joke there. Besides, as your big sister, it's my duty to stop you. Yes, this is all part of being his big sister. Isn't that right, you two? It sure is. Nobody should go around swindling others. Even Bunyan knows your nose grows if you tell lies. Honestly, I'd rather be on your guys' side here. But this time I'm siding with them. Now shut up and do what I say, like a good little brother. I knew it. They're both brainwashed, too. The time for words is over. From now on, I'll do whatever it takes to restore our family's love for each other. Big Sister Beam! Wham wham wham. Must be nice. Personally, this is giving me a headache and a stomach ache. Now! Ha! Ah! What? Who are you? You wish to know who I am? Well, very well, then. I'll tell you. I am... Mother. Mother? Yes. Silver Shinobi's mother. Which means you, of course, are not his big sister. And I'm going to prove that right here and now. Oh, snap. Ready, and... Mother Laser! What was that? Doesn't matter. I can't back down now. I have to stop my little brother from becoming a con artist. Hold it right there. Try to get in our way and we'll cut right through you, too. Come on, big bro. Let's get this surprise show on the road. I see, I see. Now I understand what's going on here. In that case, I'm pulling out all the stops on my end, too. Let's do this, Reese XP. We're going to find out which is stronger, mother or big sister. It's time for a duel of sword beauties. I see what they did there. Samurai. That's actually pretty good. Oh, that brings to mind. Did they change her NP accordingly? Ooh. Hold on, what was that? Gain class advantages over archer class attributes. Ooh! That actually is pretty good. So if she has class advantage over Jean... All right, golden rule. Let's see. Do 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 do. Hmm. 
Normally, I would go after the Berserker first, but with this opportunity... E-A... Oh. That's actually pretty good scenario. All right. Uh Oh god damn it, I have the wrong mystic code on. All right. Uh Let's see. Go ahead and do this. Okay, this is actually, no pun intended, going swimmingly. Okay, so that takes out both the altars. Mana burst older sister. Uh oh. That's a lot of attack pluses! Iron yo yo. Uh, uh, instant enhancement. Let's beef up Hokusai. Let's give Raiko first aid. Boom. 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 Probably not going to find out, but... I was curious if they changed John's NP here to include the shark instead of the dolphin. Sorry, big sister. Cleared that. Okay. That fight was actually pretty easy. Mother Beam, Mother Laser, Mother Breath, Mother Slash, Mother Smash. Are those really the best names you can come up with? Absolutely. They're all pure expressions of my motherly love translated into spear techniques. This isn't over yet. Come here, Reese XP. Play with me. 
honestly, even knowing Reese XP is on our side, being on the same battlefield with a shark scares me. I'm more scared of our big sister for including a shark in the first place. Mother Tornado! Ah! Uh, Reese XP just got blown away! Literally! Fine. I guess I'll just have to go in and cover for a stupid ass myself. What? What were you thinking? You could have killed me, damn it! Who the hell are you, anyway? <laughs> that saint woman might be a different story, but I have a feeling you and I will get along quite nicely. After all, you love stabbing your opponents to death just as much as I do, right? Then that would make us an absolutely dreadful matchup. Bring it, bitch. I'm gonna cut off those freaking weird legs of yours and replace them with slinkies! Here I come! Your tornado might have turned Reese XP into a movie title, but you haven't won yet! Or not. Backstep! Huh? She's wide open! Now's your chance! Go on, just like I taught you! You got it! Kirifuri Kanon Ai Rubin Yoshitsune Yoro Ono Amida! So that's who I should have been watching more closely. Oh no, I can't defend in time! A tour of waterfalls in various provinces! You got me! Yes! I'm so humiliated. I can't believe I was never his big sister. She was never my big sister. Oh, what the shit? That's right, you're not my little brother. I knew it. The summer he was making us hallucinate. I, I can't believe it. We were only siblings in name, not blood. She still hasn't fully accepted it. Excuse me, everyone, but uh, we still have a blade to put on. Oh, crap, you're right. Come on, then. Step right up. Right this way. The unparalleled, unprecedented, unheard of feat. Cutting the Italian peninsula off from Europe is now complete. Come on now, everyone. We're all moving to Greece. Thus was the Italian peninsula cleaved in twain. The overjoyed Romans went on to live in Greece, where all hell would inevitably break loose again. What's that? The peninsula wasn't cleaved in two at all? Indeed, it wasn't. But by the time the truth came out, the Karn artist and the crew has long since disappeared. And yet, amazingly enough, the Karn artist and his crew hadn't so much as touched the people's money. Perhaps the Karn artist, or rather, the tall tale teller, simply told this tale to surprise. Or maybe the braggart even did it, to delight! And so everyone lived happily ever... after? Ugh, <sighs> I feel like I've just been woken up from a dream. You mean a nightmare? Not at all. It was a wonderfully lovely dream. At any rate, it looks like my role as a swimsuit swordmaster has come to an end. Congratulations on a job well done, everyone. You deserve a round of applause. Yeah, yeah, congrats all around and shit. Hmm. A four-sword style, huh? I'm gonna take a little walk. Who knows, there could be a place in the Singularity where Katana grow on trees. <laughs> I'm going for a walk. A very enthusiastic walk. Katana don't grow on trees, silly. What the hell do you know? There could be a hidden oasis around here with Katana for days. Uh, on second thought, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll say. I'm a kid and I wouldn't have believed something that silly. Can't believe I got so preoccupied with Alter that I missed my chance to finish the original off. Hey, Mephistopheles. I want to be the star of the next show. <laughs> of course, of course. Hmm... Since figure stating so obviously suits you, perhaps something like the Snow Queen? No, not that. I'd prefer not to perform anything originally written by Anderson. 
Or Shakespeare, for that matter. The last thing my show needs is the original author heckling me about changes. Oh my, you are a picky one, aren't you? Alright. How about the Call of the Wild? That story about dogs! Do I look like a furry to you? I will refrain from comment. I think you'd look good in dog ears. Is that what you think? Interesting. Well, I'll tell you now, I don't do cats or dogs. It has to be either fish or fowl. Ooh, then what about something with a horn? There's no sea beast more terrifying than a narwhal. Absolutely not. What kind of hideous freak goes around with horns growing out of their head? <laughs> Phew, it's all over. Why are you so relieved? I don't recall either of us doing anything to help this time. Hey, I don't know about you, Carmilla, but I gave Machan my metaphorical butt pan once already in this event. You know, despite those nonsensical oppressions you use, you're quite easy to talk to. Well, you know, the Ellie clan and I have something of a Ricky histo Ricky history. Oh, right. I guess you actually are her, aren't you? She and I are not the same. Oh, Bats! I should have known that was a sore spot. I am Mistress C, the swimsuited phantom thief. I'm nothing like her or her ordinary non-swimsuit clothes. I got it, so please, Yami Tiku to stop with the calling cards. Those things really sting. I'm sorry, my own intellect wasn't of much use this time around. That's okay, Siegfried. You're plenty helpful all on your own. <laughs> I'm honored you think so, Master. Yeah, all that's left now is the Summer Lion King herself. We're in the home stretch now, Master. We sure are. So many of the servants look so cute when they smile. <laughs> bow, bow, bow. He is so up to something. Play with me? Mm. Yes, play. <laughs> I'm just reminded of that Rottweiler from Over the Hedge. Play, 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 play. <laughs> All right. So now we have both the VIP quests unlocked for this. Uh, let's see. Ah, the super giant enemies. Alright, let's see. Lullaby of the Defeated. Alright, let's see what we got. In gambling, there are winners and there are losers. In all likelihood, the losers outnumber the winners. And now another loser has been added to their ranks. What's that sound? I'm not sure either. Kind of sounds like someone running towards... This cannot be right! What the? Please, tell me, Master. I have heard that one can earn a great deal of money in casinos. So then why? Why? Why did I end up broke? Uh... Um, Adelante? I'm afraid the key word in that statement is... Can. Just because you can make a lot of money at casinos doesn't mean you will. But, but even if I cannot make more money, I should not be able to lose all the money I had to begin with. Huh. There, there. 
<laughs> I know that heart-rending wail. The pain, the foolishness, the sheer heartache that comes from knowing what a dumbass you've been. Who goes there? Me. Duh. I heard what happened to you, Adelante. So you're flat broke now, huh? Yes, I am. What about it? If you're here to laugh at me, go ahead. Me? Laugh at you? Never. Besides, I'm in the same goddamn boat! Eh? You too? Yeah, neither of you really seem cut out for gambling. Aww. Camaraderie! Uh, this is bullshit. How the hell are we going to keep up with these complicated rules anyway? Oh, I guess it's the bar you were talking about, Superashi. Yes, truly. I know how you feel. At least with roulette, I know where I should place my chips. Well, no. Not really. And then there's all those odds you gotta keep track of in Texas Hold'em and shit. What gives? Hey, give me another Cafe Royale. Don't bother lighting it. I got that bit covered myself. I will have one cider made of pressed golden apples, please. Huh? You do not have that? I suppose silver apples will suffice then. Um... What is it? Is something wrong? Do Mash and I really need to be here while you two drown your sorrows? You dumbass, of course you do. We wouldn't even be in this singularity if not for you, right? But we only came here to make it go away. Uh, well, I guess I can have orange juice then. Nope, Mash, you gotta grow up someday. And there's no time like the present. Get this girl a cocktail. Very well then. A Cinderella for the young lady in glasses. Uh, thank you. Well, here goes. Oh, wow. This is really good. I can feel myself getting tipsy. Huh? Mash, speak to me. It's all right, Master. It's a mocktail. No alcohol. Oh, God. Are we going to have a Persona 4 incident again? Are we going to have the King's Game incident from Persona 4? I still do not think this is right. None of it. You agree, Master, yes? Ah, uh, whatever. Who cares? It's all just funny money anyway. My book? Eh, don't worry, it's coming along fine. So keep us company a little longer, Master. Because if you don't, I'll burn you to a crisp. You're freaking me out here. Senpai, I was watching Ureshki Gall the other day. And it got me thinking how maybe I should try to speak more cutely like she does. Maybe it would help if I started going by Mashki Gall? I don't say that lightly, but bruh. That is very cute, but I don't think I can handle it. You think it's cute? I see your servants can get drunk on atmosphere just as much as you can, Master. And then again, I suppose that just goes to show how much influence you have on them. Ugh, this sucks. I lost all my money gambling, and I'm all out of ideas for my manga. Guess this is what getting kicked when you're down feels like. I finally found the perfect present for the children. Uh, but the stuffed mass-produced hippogriffs were so much more expensive than I thought. <laughs> How's it going, ladies? How's about you two chicks come with us and... What? What's with the look? Boy, did you pick the wrong girls on the wrong day, ass face. 
Hope you got your will sorted. Uh-huh. How come? Do you have any money? If so, it is ours now. I will hold back the best I can. With any luck, you might not end up dead. Why is this happening? And these guys are casters, so... Smash them with riders. So we actually have an influence. We actually have an explanation as to why a lot of the servants are just like lightweights. Calling it, he's not even going to last the turn. Get him, Teach. Berserker this time. But all I did was talk to them. Come on, don't die on me. Watch yourself out there, kid. Don't let Boos get the better of you. Ugh. Now that's what I call a mean drunk. What was that? Uh, nothing, young lady. Nothing at all. No death wish. Bartender, could Match have another one, please? Very well, but just to be clear, there is no alcohol in your drink. You can't possibly be getting drunk. Match is okay with that. Still makes for a yummy soft drink. Now you're doing the third person thing? Yeah, Mash. You're never going to leave an impression with weak sauce crap like that. You gotta be more altery. Me? An alter? Hmm. I do not know what to make of that, so I'll continue to ignore it. Barcape, another cider. And how about some... There you are, big sis. Come on, no more booze. Too easy to go overboard with that stuff. Huh? You're here too, master? Aren't you kind of young to be drinking? <laughs> hey now, don't be mad. How about this? Next round's on me. Don't worry, I won't tell the parental figure servants. What's up, big sis? All of a sudden, I feel like carrots. Barky, some manner of carrot-based snack, please. Huh? Why'd you feel like carrots as soon as I showed up? Nobody tell him! Hey, Hermes knockoff. I'm bored. Do something fun. You're a Greek hero, right? Can't you at least stop time or something? Yeah, Mash wants to see something fun, too. Yo, Master, what the hell's going on around here? Uh, well, those two are drunk off their asses. I believe they're also depressed about their gambling losses. Ah, man, they tried to gamble? Anyone could have told them how that was going to turn out. Hey, what's with all the sign language? You trying to exclude us? That's how you want to play. Maybe I'll go full berserk and run the whole place down. No! The spar is all I have going for me in my old age. I see that look of pity in your eyes. So you think I should stop here and save some money for lodgings too, do you? Well, I cannot help it. I did not just want to win. I, I also wanted to look badass. Me too! I wanted to saunter up in my best dress, all cool and elegant, and be like, Royal flush, bitches! But I couldn't exactly do that when the best I could manage was the first few hands was a goddamn pair! 
When I tried to raise the palm of the full house, I bluffed so hard, everyone else folded. Then when I went all in with three of a kind, the other guy had a goddamn flush. Ugh. I know that feeling, Jalder. Ugh. Some people just aren't cut out to be gamblers, no matter how sharp their eyes might be. How are you when it comes to gambling, Achilles? Me? I'm awesome at it, of course. <laughs> so I hear, young Achilles. They say you won so many games, you nearly got yourself banned from the premises? <laughs> you already heard about that, huh? Guess it just goes to show what I can do when I put my mind to... Uh-oh. Uh, what's up? You're gonna join us for drinks until you're drowning in our sorrows, too. Indeed. Neither you nor Master are leaving until we have hit absolute rock bottom. You're roping me into this, too? Ugh, damn it. Guess we're out of options. There's only one way out of this now, Master. Fighting. Mash and I'll start by... Mash feels light as a cloud. I don't think she's going to be much help. Damn. Alright, guess it's all up to us then. <laughs> Mash is so cute when she's drunk off the atmosphere. Alright. Let's get this all geared up. Alright. So we're taking down Atlante Altar and Sean Altar. Well, you know, just a good starting move. Pirate's Glory. I think I'll go ahead and start with tagging Jolter. Okay. Hmm. You know what? And also, uh, apply invincible. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, Good crits. Who <laughs> are that pose? Okay. Uh, 
All right. Okay, Achilles is... Ooh, there we go. Alright. Uh, let's go for some gentlemanly love. And some Voyager of the Storm. I think I'm gonna go ahead. Boom. 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 This should at least take out Atlante Altar, if not Jean Altar as well. And I think, yep, wiped them both out. was a sticky situation. Uh, I'm sleepy. Me too. Uh. Uh, it's a good thing they were so drunk. I don't want to think about how that might have turned out if they weren't. I'll let them sleep it off on the sofa. We'll wake up sooner or later. Thanks. <laughs> You're quite welcome. But I do insist that you take responsibility for seeing her home safely. Senpai! 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 Ash is feeling really tipsy now. I'll, uh, make sure she gets home okay. <laughs> Guess it wouldn't be my place to help you out then. Night, Master. Sweet dreams. Mash is so cute when she does that third person thing. I'm coming in. Um, I just wanted to apologize to you for last night, Master. Achilles told us what happened. I'm so ashamed of how I behaved. As Altura would say, I know now that drinking too much is definitely bad civilization. I'm not sorry, but screw that anyway. Uh, why is Kiri Light flailing on the bed like that? Let's just say she wishes she could forget last night ever happened. Uh, uh, please don't remind me, Senpai. I've never wanted to crawl into a hole and die so badly. Yeah, now I wish I remembered too. Did Mash really get that drunk? Did she find her inner Jing K or something? As luck would have it, I just so happened to have a video file of last night's proceedings. And for you, Master, I'm willing to let it go for a very low price indeed. Deal. <laughs> Senpai! Oh. <laughs> Betrayal. Betrayal by Moriarty. Ooh. Big chance quest. Re-raise. Uh, but we need a lot more QP for that one. Let's see. Mission number 12. I think that's the one that I just unlocked. Yeah. 170 million. Eee, I've got a lot of grinding to do. 
Uh, I suppose I can at least take care of a couple of these in um, Cirque de Rakim and uh, Rakuichi Rakuza. Grinding time! Oh, geez, actually. I guess I can go ahead and start with uh, yeah I'll have to do that ooh actually what are the drops uh, just the lucky dice uh, I think I'll go with Brian's uh, assassin waka. I want to pet the waka. All right, let's go ahead. Sorry. There we go. See what we got here. Um, boom, boom, boom. Pulsar Tengu. All right, let's see. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Bath of fresh blood. Carmilla is so good! And boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh Boom boom boom. Carmilla's got full charge. And I think this is the one with um, Alexander at the end. 
Boom, boom, boom. Gotta love that bitch slap Carmilla has. Oof. And that's only a 100% charge. Well, technically 200% because of NP chain. Still. Alright. Did that. I just need to clear a couple more. All right. Uh. Hmm. I'll get some more lucky dice. Let's do that, that, that. Ooh, just one star off from the full 50. Brave Jane. Waka so cute. Let's see, anything else from this one? Uh, apply debuff immune for yourself. Low chance to remove the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, and I gave her. That. Boom. 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 Uh, 
All right. Uh. Boom. Oop. Boom and boom. That's a lot of crit stars. Ooh, dancing queen. I think now would be a good time. Uh, let's see. Okay, um, I think I'll go ahead and use Buster, Tingus Fan, and Phantom Mage. Alright, and then Phantom Maiden to finish him off. I think I'll do this one more time before going on to uh, the quest at Cirque de Rakin. Uh, let's see. Update list. Let's go with Kotaro here. That's equipped with the Mona Lisa CE. So that way we can get more QP. Mm. All right, let's see what we got. Not a bad start. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's go. Let's go, bitches. Hey, Subarashi, you missed the bar. <laughs> yeah, 
And he also, I think, missed the uh, fight against uh, Summer Jean. We never did get to figure out if they changed the if they changed her noble phantasm accordingly. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I think I'll go ahead and bath of fresh blood. And while I'm doing that, boom, boom, boom. On the plus side, we got a tape of Mash being drunk. Alright, let's see. Uh, boom. 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 Ooh, excuse me. My Carmilla is so good. Uh. Boom, boom, boom. Quick break chain. <laughs> you know what? Let's go ahead and see if we can't soup Carmilla up just a bit. See how good her bitch slap is now. Just enough. Such an artful bitch slap. All right, and now safety oil for Kotaro. Defense down for Alexander. Attack down for all the enemies. Inflict nullify buff. <laughs> and now we do this. Tingu's fan. Immortal Chaos Brigade. Phantom Maid. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, that's a bot. Do not want the bot. All right. That should be it for all of our business here. I think I've just got one thing to do at the um, Cirque de Rakin.
At least I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I'm not the best at French. All right. Okay, so I just need to do one more run in um, Cirque de Rikin, and it just has to not be a fever quest. So, okay, so I can just do the regular VIP mission. All right. Uh, Monculus babies and Gemma Berserker. I've got a lot of dice. What can I use them for? Uh, hmm. I guess I'll just start using the dice to collect foe. All right. Actually, wait, 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 wait. What are the drops here? Uh, the trump cards. Okay, I think I could work with that. Uh, let's get Jean here. Summer Jean. And let's switch everybody to purple eyes oh wait hold on okay let's go Alright. Oh yeah, Super Rashi. Um, something you might be interested in. I have a friend helping me with um, getting caught up on um, JP. And me and him just did a showdown of like a one multi-role to see who got like more servants and things like that and uh i got bao ben si so that was fun at least i think that's how you pronounce it celtic celtic names are weird yeah i got a uh, fairy tristan Um, b -b -boo. Need Fairy Gawain, but Fairy Tristan cute. Yeah. Liz Archer. <laughs> She basically is, isn't she? Like, neon pink hair. Uh... 
Uh, let's see. Bloodloving, yeah. I mean, Baobin C is basically the Celtic equivalent of a vampire. I think I've seen somebody joke that, um... Shoot, was it, uh... Balbin C and then Karen Hortensia and then Carmilla and they they were arranged like it was a Pokemon evolutionary line. It was actually pretty funny. Uh, let's see. Seen memes like that? Yeah, I thought it was funny. Um, ooh, here we go. Let's get Summer Artorial souped up. Okay, and ooh. I can probably get the accents right, but I just know barely any French. <laughs> then the different forms of Liz, like she was Evie. There's a big snake. An acrobatic snake. Ooh. All right, let's see. Um. Okay. Uh, let's see. Hmm, do I want to go for the buster chain? Eh. In the long run, it'll pay off. Great intimidation, so everybody's NP is sealed for a turn. I still like the idea of having um, an archer Carmilla and she's just like got a sniper rifle or something. Like she channels the spirit of uh, Vasily Zaitsev or some other well known sniper. Oh, wait, nope, actually.
Good timing. Uh, let's go ahead and have Artoria heal herself. Uh, beach flower! Boom, boom, boom. This is gonna hurt. Oof, that did hurt. Okay, uh huh. That's what that reminds me of. It reminds me of um, one of Kai Kisuke's attacks in Guilty Gear, where he just sets up like a marker, and then when he sends his projectile attack through that marker, it just becomes stronger and faster. Uh, let's see. All right, Chevalier Deon, massive betting security squad leader. Uh, let's see. Increase attack for good. All right. Let's start with... Uh, hmm, boost NP gauge and NP strength. Uh... All right. Death Ocean's Delegress. Excalibur Vivian. And Caribbean Freebird Act 2. But yeah, Superashi, referring to earlier, people seem to really like Fairy Gawain. And also Fairy Lancelot. Fairy Lancelot's adorable. Okay, and now the time for Caribbean Freebird on Deon. Tails and he gets defense down. 
Ah, oh, damn it. None of my servants have sure head on them, do they? Well, crap. Okay. Ah. More pirates glory. And now... Uh... Do that. <laughs> Lolly Dragon and Muscle Lady. I mean, the thighs alone. Yeah. People seem to really like Barghest's thighs. Yeah. In JP, I tried to roll for um, Oberon, so that way I could actually have, like, a good defense against um, Alter Egos. Speaking of, did you actually see the updated um, class affinity chart? Basically, they added Pretender as weak to Foreigner, but strong against Alter Ego. And it was, it was basically, a, it's basically a mirror of Alter Ego, where you know how Alter Ego is good against Cavalry classes, but doesn't do as much damage to Knight classes? Pretender has them switched around, so you do more damage to Knight classes than you do to Cavalry classes. Which actually, to me, makes a lot of sense. Yeah, finally having something definitive against the alter egos. Nice. And that should do it for that quest. Yay! <clears throat> All right. Wondering about how the Pretender class is going to acquire more service. Well... My guess is the Pretender class seems to be based on heroic spirits of people who were deceivers. Tricksters, if you think about it. Because, for example, uh... Spoilers. Uh, Oberon is also fused with, uh, Vortigern. So, let's see. Uh, 
I'm guessing if they ever make another Pretender, they're eventually going to make one that's literally the devil. Like, probably from the old American tales of old Scratch, things like that. Oh, hey, Drake! Ah, I was wondering where you were. Thomas Edison and Mephistopheles. I, you know, I wouldn't be... I wouldn't be surprised if there was a pretender variant of Mephistopheles. Because right now he's just Caster, and not too many people are using him that much. Uh, let's see. What do I got for items? I'm good on... I've got plenty of trump cards, so... Uh, I think I'll use them to clear out the rider pieces. And grab a lancer piece. Alright. I'll probably do some, uh, servant enhancement. Maybe a couple of rolls. And I think that'll be it for the night. Let's see. Um, in time and maybe even a certain ruler. Let's do it. I did get the bunny. I got the killer rabbit. Right here. Although, I do want to make let's see, a couple of rolls. What about a couple of rocks? Uh, but no, seriously, I, I, what was it, last week, I got a bunch of Saints Quartz, and I had enough to spare for a couple of single rolls. Literally, the second single roll I did, I got her. So that was fun. Um, I do need to buff up uh, Avenger Nobu, so can't be helped. Last three quarts. Ah, so you have felt the taste of the bullshit no jutsu. All right. Let's see. Uh, servants. I do have some attack foe. I suppose I can feed him to Hokusai. Normally, I don't do this for welfare servants, but, I mean, I think I've got a good chance of completing the event on time. Still salty about that one Christmas event. Where I completed the story of the event, but I still didn't get uh, Santa Jolter, Lily. I'm still pissed about that. And that was the same event where we had that day-long maintenance, but just barely short enough to not warrant the courtesy Saints Quartz. I'm still pissed about that. The Great Reset, yes. That basically spawned a meme of Jolter Lily being a communist. Uh, what else is I going to do? Oh yeah. Uh, I think the 
rest of the time until next story mission, I'm going to be doing some grinding because, yeah, um, got a lot of QP to save up. Uh, let's go ahead and do some summoning. Now, I want to get Osakabe Hime Archer. Uh, but at the same time... Okay, you know what? I'm going to do two summons here because this will be close to getting the bonus summon. All right. <laughs> All right, it's a servant. It's a writer. Bodica. All right, now I get the double summon. Okay, Archer. Kid Gilgamesh. Okay, so I learned something recently that apparently if you summon a servant card and it's double-sided, apparently that's the sign that it's going to be a four-star or higher or something. All right. Let's go for FPS Batty. Okay. Archer. It will grapple and change. Uh, caps locks are okay. Another archer. Uriel. Okay. CE. Ruined Church. It's one of those CEs I never use. Okay, another Servant. Another Tota. We're going to get a lot of rice, at least. Another CE, Summer and Mate. Rider Waka. We got Rider Waka. Okay. And a lot of Tota. <laughs> waka Waka. Bygone Dream. Uh, more summer and mate. Angel song. That looks pretty. Okay, it's a servant. It's a lancer. Romulus. Got that pillar man looking ass. Uh, well, that was a bummer. Uh, now for a question. I have enough for one more multi-roll. Do I go for it now? Or do I save it for Sunday for the Merlin banner? <laughs> Rome!
I forget where I saw it, but I saw I once saw Chibi, the cutest little Chibi of Nero, also doing the Y pose of Roma. Uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna do it. By the power of bullshit no jitsu. I seek the bat. Okay, two CEs. Okay, servant. Assassin. Come on. I'm looking for a gold archer. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Often Gabla. I still struggle with pronouncing Celtic. Iron Will Training, okay. Uh, phantasmal species. Uh, bullshit no jutsu just does not seem to be working for me today. Oh? Caster. Mephistopheles. Uh, purple eyes. Another summer in Mate. Screw it. I'm going for it. I've got enough for seven single rolls. One of them being a double, actually. Going for it. Number one. Welcome, bunny. Okay. Number two. Fragment of 2030. Number three. Servant. Assassin. Uh, Jekyll and Hyde again. <sighs> Number four. Uh, Knight's Dignity. Dan Blackmore. This is a good man. All right. Double summon time. Daily double. Let's go. Uh, reality marble. And another summer and mate. Uh, two more. Uh, 
by the power of bullshit no jutsu, I summon thee. Gold sparks. Lancer. I... Okay. Not who I was looking for, but... Okay. Last roll. That seemed to work, so let's try this again. By the power of bullshit no jutsu, I summon thee! Nope. Uh, spooked by Vlad. Oh well. Let's see, Noble Phantasm. Oh hey, and that was just the last Vlad I need. So that actually kind of works out. NP5 Kazikle Bay is now available. All right, uh... Even when you're unlucky, you're somehow lucky. Eh. <laughs> Always look on the bright side of life. <whistles> All right, uh, let's do some... Ooh, actually. Do I have... No, I do not. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um... B -b -b I suppose... Do I have anyone that really needs to level up? Hmm. I suppose Paris. Feed the sheeps. So cute, I can't be mad at him. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, up until the next uh, story mission for this event, I'm going to have to do a lot of grinding. So I think now would be a good place to call it. Let's see. Uh, right, the big chance quest is available here. For now, let's go ahead and raid somebody. Uh... Right. Uh, Caldea Gurus are online. So, let's say we go ahead and raid them.
as they are also playing some fake Grand Order. And I know the perfect hashtag to raid them with. Yeah, Tom's on. Out of context, I think we'd also get a pretty funny reaction out of him. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and use this hashtag for it. Uh, we are going to raid Tom Fox. And we're going to raid with the hashtag... Mother laser. You weren't here, Drake, so you won't get it. You'll have to watch the mo you'll have to watch the VOD. I think you might have to too, um, Superashi, because uh if I remember right it took place before the bar scene. He has almost finished Mother 3. <laughs> you know what? Good point. Good point. All right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and raid Tom Fox. Uh, let's see. Tomorrow, the plan is that Soul Warrior and I have a Mega Man X race, I believe. So that ought to be fun. All right. <laughs> uh, it'll probably be around 6, 6.30 in the evening, I think. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Let's raid. <laughs>